Hello and welcome to our video on importing service accounts into UATest and Okta. In this video, first we're going to show you how to create a service account, then how to import this into Okta. Finally, we're going to make sure that your settings within Okta are correct so that we could view these in UATest. So let's get started and actually create the account in the first place. To get started on creating this service account, First, we're going to open Service Manager. Then, going to your Tools, you're going to select Active Directory Users and Computers. Once here, select the Manager Service Account folder, hover over New, then select User. Here, we'll enter first name, last name, and user logon name. Once all these fields have been completed, we'll click Next. Now we'll enter in a password, and once this is completed, click Next. Once that looks good, click Finish. Now that the service account has been created, inside of Okta, go to Directory, Directory Integrations, select your Active Directory, click Import, Import Now. And since we're adding just one additional service account, we're going to select Incremental Import. If everything looks OK, click OK. Make sure you select the service account. Then confirm assignment. Click confirm. And going back into your directory, we'll search for the new account to confirm its existence. So just going over to the search, we're going to enter in the account name we just created. And you'll see it shows up right there. Next, we want to make sure your settings are configured in Okta so your service accounts will show up in UATest. To do so, we're going to go to Directory, Profile Editor, then we're going to click into Okta. Next, we're going to edit the profile. What we want to make sure is that the first and last name attributes are not required for this service account to show up within UATest. So we're going to find first name. Make sure the box isn't checked. If yours is checked, uncheck the yes option. Click save. And then we're going to do the same for last name. So we're going to go in, make sure the box that's required is not checked and then we're going to click save. As mentioned, if yours does say check for yes, please uncheck this. Then we're going to go back out, select directories, select active directory and profile. And we're going to make similar changes to mail, given name, and SN attributes. We don't want these required, so when we click into these, make sure that box is not checked yes. So like I said, we're going to do these for mail, given name, and SN. The attributes do not need to be required, so we're going to make sure that box isn't checked for these three. Once mail, given name, and SN attributes have been marked as optional. We're going to go, and I'm just going to do a quick recap to show you the service account we're working with so we still remember it. I'm just going to search for the Garrett Grajek one, and let's see what applications this service account has been assigned to. So I'm going to click into this service account right here. 
you'll notice these are the applications. And so now when we perform an attestation and you attest, you're going to be able to pull this information. So on this next screen over here, you'll be able to see when we do a search for this service account, you can find it. I hope you found this video on service accounts helpful. Please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Take care.